In my previous video, I did this. So it's G part boot code minus P boot boot one dot EFI minus install or I. I think that's where we tell it which partition it is. So you do need to know your partition. Sorry about that. And as I said, it's P1 and then which disk. And there we go. It's ADA zero. This is the nervous bit. Ready? Part code written. And it managed to do this. Let's log out of it. This is the nervous part. Now it is quite possible this system won't come back up. All right, let's see if we can get in, shall we? I'm going to go with not. Yeah, it should have been up by now. In this video, let's fix it. <laughs> Okay, so let's quickly talk about what it was that I broke. It was the boot code. I followed instructions and it just didn't boot after that. Now, I tend to do this every time I go through a major upgrade when I'm using ZFS. Luckily, FreeBSD provides you with tools to, to get around it and we'll try and, and do as many of the res 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 and we'll try and do as many as of the in hell and we'll try and do as many of the resolutions as we can now there are two do it correctly the first time <laughs> which is what i'm going to do this time and then i'm going to boot to a usb stick and show you how i recovered it as well so let, let's jump into my terminal and let's get this on the road so what i did in my previous video was just do a, a gpart boot code I'm not going to do it right now because it's just going to screw me up. Minus P, boot, boot one, minus I one, ADA zero. That's what I did. That's exactly what happened. And it screwed it up. So what I should have done was this. So let's just show you what I've got. There you go. Some supported and requested features are not enabled on Paul. Paul can still be used, but some features, and I want to do an, a, a ZFS upgrade. That's what I want to do. So I'm going to do that first. There we go. That's done. So if I now do state, oh yeah. So I might need to update the boot code. So let's do a, a status. There you go. That thing has gone away. Now, instead of doing the G part boot code minus P, I'm going to do it a different way. So what I want to do is mount minus T MS DOS FS forward slash dev forward slash ADA zero P one. And it's not permitted. Why not? I love it when this happens. Right. So there is the EFI boot zero label. Interesting. Maybe I need to drop down to single user mode. That will be annoying. Interesting. That didn't happen before. <laughs> All right. I'm going to going to reboot this and see what happens. Let's watch. Now, it could not boot. But it looks like it's booting all right to me, which is fine. So let's go back, restart this terminal, and let's try to mount that again. Still operation not permitted. That's weird, because I can do it on my normal server. At least I think I can. Yeah, okay. So what's causing the difference there then? So let's have a quick look at, I'm gonna put those into my, interesting. So I haven't got that. Right, so let's, and let's check out my boot loader, loader.conf I should say. Let's see what the difference is. Got that, I haven't got that, but I don't need that. Auto boot delay, don't need that. I hate it when that happens. I don't think any of that is going to make any difference. So reboot. Okay. Okay. So the bootloader is still working. Restart session. Operation not permitted. I wonder why. Well, that's really strange. Okay. Well, what we'll do is we'll quickly, uh, we'll quickly create a USB stick. I've got a feeling this is already set up anyway, but we'll do it again. Rufus 15 alpha four i should probably have downloaded 15 alpha five by now okay we'll download that as well let's get that in there okay so i won't show you this way that's annoying because that's the way that works while freebsd is running 
Okay, so we'll skip to the next part, which is doing it from a recovery disc. Now, my recovery disc happens to be Alpha 4. It's running Alpha 5. That shouldn't make too much difference in this scenario. So we'll just wait for the USB stick. Refreshing petition layout, done. Right, so let's get that off there in a USB port. This is slightly annoying because it means I've got to use another keyboard. Be better if I didn't chuck it on the floor. Christ almighty. It's one of them days, isn't it? Okay, let's shut down. More or less, oh, now. That can bugger off. Hmm. Of course, what's really annoying about this is I can't copy and paste commands now. So let's go. I'm not sure if this is booting to the disk or the internal disk. Let's have a look. Internal disk. I wonder if I can do it from single user mode. Let's try, shall we? No. Interesting. That's really weird. All right. Okay. All right. Here we go. Right. So boot to the installer. Once it gets to the installer, we'll just open a shell instead of in the installer. Installer, installer, installer. Uh, not a shell, a live system. Okay. Right, so ADA P1, ADA0 P1 is what we want to do. So let's try mounting it from here then. Right, mount, minus T, MS DOS, FS, dev, ADA0 P1, mount. There we go, so let's go to that mount. So this is where we will see the, um, so if we go into, so there's two, two entries there. So if we go into boot, that's the one we want to override. Now, you can keep a backup of this if you want. It's probably wise to, I'm not going to, because I don't really need to. This is a throwaway system really, but we'll do, we'll do it here actually. Let's just do it. So let's go copy to old and then we're going to go copy boot loader dot efi is that the right one i can't remember now i know nothing <laughs> no that word broken it boot one dot efi and we want to copy it to where we are now to that oh dear so there we go, the boot x64.efi copied on 7th of October, that's today. So let's have a quick look at the FreeBSD entry, and that's loader.efi. Shouldn't need to touch this, but I'm going to anyway, because I want to see what happens now. So copy boot loader.efi to loader.efi. And that was the 3rd of October, now the 7th of October. Okay, now, all going well, this should boot. Let's see if it does. Here we go. Testbed.carryagetech.uk. Let's pull the USB out. We don't need that. Let's log in and reboot it again. I want to watch it come up on its own. There we go. Let's get that out of the way. It's getting on my nerves. We don't need it. Right, so here we go. We now have an up-to-date bootloader. I still don't understand why that's not working. Helps if you put in ms.dosfs. Don't get it. I don't know what's causing that. That's going to annoy me. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense to me. That makes no no sense. Anybody? Look, the, the, the main point is that that boot code is now up to date. Well, ish. It's on Alpha 4 rather than Alpha 5. I could do it again. Still operation not, not permitted. That, that's really weird. There, there's got to be some kind of rule on my, my production server that allows me to do that. I, I don't know what it is. That's pretty annoying, because that would have been helpful to, to show. I don't get it. We don't get it. Very odd. Very, very odd. Look, it's working. We'll take that as a win. I am going to do it to Alpha 5, just because I can. Thank you.
didn't think that was going to pop up then. Just because I want it to be totally the, the, the latest. So I might as well do it. So we'll just write that, as you can see, Alpha 5. Very, very strange. Drop me a comment down below if, if you know why it's not mounting. I've made so many changes to my production server over the years. I have absolutely no idea what is there and what isn't. It's probably where documentation comes in. But, you know, that, that's a long way down the line. Who knows? Keep forgetting to do that. Ho hum. So yeah, any idea why? Drop me a shout. I'm gonna go and do this because I want to use this machine in, in a few videos. I want to try out GNOME and a few other desktop environments. But for now, <laughs> we've recovered that bad boot code. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Why? Did, why? I, I just don't get it. Seriously, how can it work on one and not on the other? I mean, asking me to know the answer to that is like asking if I know the Pope, I guess.